after the last holiday cruise, 450 passengers of the liner Lancastria get their biggest thrill of the trip when the ship goes aground in the Mersey on her way up to dock in Liverpool. For hours, tugs pull their hardest, and when the tide rises, the Lancastria glides forward into deep water again. Going to sea is fine, but coming ashore is even better, when you can tell lurid stories of how you nearly took part in a shipwreck, and how. Our congratulations to famous flyer Amy Mollison on escaping from what might have been a nasty accident while she was making a forced landing in a fog. Flying from Paris, she was unable to find Croydon Aerodrome, and in the failing light she came down, her wheels hit a rut, the machine overturned, and Mrs. Mollison suffered a broken nose. Here's hoping for a speedy recovery. In a pea soup fog on the Pacific coast, the American freighter on loan runs onto the rocks. And when her skipper decides to abandon ship, the Coast Guard rescues the crew by Breach's boy, and every man is saved. When the fog lifts, the ship is seen to be hard and fast aground, pounded by a heavy swell. Another victim of the seaman's worst enemy, fog. It's competition day at the London Dairy Show, and the Lord Mayor is there to watch Britain's best dairy maid see who can make two pounds of Britain's best butter. Meanwhile, Britain's best milk girls are seeing who can produce a few pints of Britain's best milk. And then there are the winners of the competition for the most charming country girl, Miss K.N. Lewis of Carmarthen and Miss M. Titmus of Hitchin, Hertz. The British Legion is on its annual church parade at the Royal Hospital Chelsea, with colours flying, bands playing and the old pensioners looking on. And the inspection is taken by Field Marshal Sir Philip Chetwood. If you look carefully at these pictures, you may find Mr. Montague Norman, because today the Bank of England's elusive governor is making one of his few public appearances. When the new bank building was started, the architects decided to make a passage through the corner between Prince's Street and Loftbury to reduce the pedestrian crush at that point. And now Mr. Montague Norman is officially handing over the passage to the Lord Mayor. And there they are. Led by the glare that lights up the night sky, our cameramen are first on the spot for a blaze which involves 30 stacks of wheat and hay at Willingdon Farm near Newcastle. A spectacular picture, but a tragedy for the farmer, who loses the results of many months of hard work. For 20 hours, the fire brigade fight this raging inferno. No one can tell how it started. 